My brother-in-law called me the one who got away in his speech. And my husband is very hurt, and it is all my fault. I don't know what to do. I think I have done serious damage to my marriage before it even began. I met my husband through his brother, Chris, who I had a crush on in college. I never was clingy or never acted on my feelings and I never really allowed myself to get too close to him because I knew that my feelings weren't reciprocated. Chris knew however I had a crush on him, or at least he felt it. He would always say that I was GF material and how he wouldn't want to lead me on. He wanted to have fun before that, he would say this to others, but even once to me. On two occasions he would text me that he had feelings for me, only to apologize later and retract his words, but on Christmas four years ago. He texted me that he was in love with me and wanted to take me out on a date. He said he was done playing around and wanted a relationship. He was invited to NYE party that my then roommate and I had. He told me he wanted to talk to me then. When he came to the party he had his brother with him. Chris spent the party going out of his way to ignore me. And later I saw him making out with my roommate and they spent the night in her room. I decided there and then that I will drop it. Enough is enough. Next morning he told me that he messed up. I messed up big time yeah, and he apologized. During the party I got to know his brother, who was the opposite of Chris. He was shy and hated attention and he was just the best. And soon after he asked me on a date. We are married now. Our wedding was last Wednesday. I want to make two things clear. I never went beyond a crush on Chris and only after I fell for my husband. That I understood what love is. He is everything to me and I love him more than anything. I never told anyone about my crush and when I met my husband. I didn't tell him either. Chris wasn't happy I was seeing his brother and he's been cold towards me since. Even when it got serious between my husband and I. Chris held a speech on our rehearsal dinner. And he basically outed everything and ended with how he regretted not asking me out sooner. And how he will always regret it. It was very awkward afterwards. And nobody talked and on our wedding day my husband did everything to act normal. And he made sure everything was as planned but I could feel that he was hurt and angry. After the party he asked me if I loved Chris. And if I dated him for that reason. I started crying because it's absolutely not true. We started dating and became friends. And I made sure it was him I wanted before committing and I never loved anyone. Like I love my husband. I told him all this and more and I apologized so much for not telling him everything. In the beginning, I thought it was my own private matter and I didn't feel the need to discuss it with a then stranger to me. When our relationship evolved, I just never thought Chris was relevant and my crush seemed a silly thing. Now it's back to bite me in the back. My husband is very sad and he barely talks to me. We're leaving for our honeymoon in two weeks. He barely speaks about it. The thing we both waited for with so much anticipation and longing. I don't know what to do. I can't turn back time so I don't know what to do. Am I the a-hole for laughing at my brother's tattoo? This is a pretty cut and dry scenario. My 32M little brother 25M has been in a string of relationships since he was young enough to know what dating was. On several occasions, the relationships ended because he was caught cheating with another girl. These are just the ones that I know about. There could be more. In fact, his current GF19F was the other woman from his previous relationship. I'll call him Danny. He still lives with my parents, and I headed over on the 4th for barbecue. When he reached out for a hug I noticed his arm was super red, and he showed me his brand new tattoo that he had literally just gotten. In huge words it said loyalty in cursive. Where I might be the a-hole is that I kinda laughed. As soon as I saw it, and didn't try to hide it at all, it wasn't a dramatic laugh. He said, what's so funny? And I just said his tattoo was really ironic. He got pissed and stormed off to his room, and didn't join my parents and I, plus our sister for dinner. I told them what happened, and they said I was being an a-hole, and my sister said people are allowed to change. I personally think he's acting like a child by locking himself in his room, and that I shouldn't be blamed for a 25-year-old storming off. LOL. Follow for updates. Thanks for watching.